Hey everybody, this is Sean. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to talk today about refinancing your mortgage when you might want to do it. Um, basically covering in my videos and on this channel the various chapters of my book, Saving Your Future and specifics related to what's in the book as well as any questions you guys answer me. I'm going to answer uh, respond either below or, or you know make my new videos based on that so today what we're going to talk about is refinancing your mortgage when's a good time to do that uh, versus not also whether to get a 30-year or 15-year mortgage now we're just kind of touching on a high level so ask any questions to get more specifics um, everything varies based on your situation so let's get into it first uh, 15 year versus 30 year. There's def definitely different reasons for it. Usually a 15 year you're going to have a slightly lower interest rate than a 30, um, but your monthly payments are going to be a little bit high higher. So you might have to balance, do I want that flexibility? Because I can always get a 30 year mortgage and pay faster, or do I want the 15 year and pay it off quicker um, without making those extra payments or what have you. Uh, most states allow you to pay off your mortgage. You know, there's a law that allows you to pay off your mortgage faster without any penalty. You want to check with your lender if you're allowed to do that. Uh, 15 versus 30, obviously you're going to pay off your mortgage in half the time. The amount of interest you're going to pay is a lot less. However, some people advocate to do a 30-year mortgage because rates are so low currently that you can get a 15-year mortgage. I'm sorry, you can get a 30-year mortgage and the amount you might pay is let's say three, three and a half percent, maybe even less, you know, a little bit less than four percent. And you could take that money that you would otherwise be paying on a shorter term mortgage and invest that in something that's going to result in four, five, six, even up to 10 percent or more in a return on your investment. So why take that extra hundred, two hundred dollars a month in, and pay it onto your mortgage that's saving you or, you know, netting you a three or four percent when you can invest that into something that's a higher yield return. So we can talk more about that if you're interested. Um, also when to refinance. So the general rule is for sure if you can get a one percent reduction in your in your loan definitely want to do it. Things to consider are how long am I going to stay in this house and what are my closing costs. So if the closing costs are very very low uh, there's still a cost to the paperwork and everything that's involved to get you to that new mortgage, to reprocess it, have you sign, and, and so on. So let's say for the sake of argument that you're going to save $100 a month on your mortgage and your closing costs are $1,200. Well, simple math tells me it's going to take me 12 months before I just break even on that because the $100 savings each month times 12 months gives me the $1,200 that I paid to get that new mortgage. So as long as I'm going to stay in this house for over a year for sure, then it's probably worth refinancing. Now, one of the things you want to be careful with is, let's say you have a 30-year mortgage and you've had it for five years, and so now there's 25 years left. And then you refinance, keep in mind that if you re refinance to a 30-year mortgage again, you can't say, well, I'm saving $200 a month because it's, that's not real. You've added five years onto that mortgage. So you want to compare what am I really saving on a month-to-month -month basis based on the same period of time. And that's how you make the determination. That's how you make the determination of whether it makes sense to refinance or not. Don't let you know anybody try to market you on. We're going to save you four hundred dollars a month. Well, sure. If my mortgage has ten years left and I bump it up to thirty years, I'm spreading them out that I owe over a longer period of time. So. By nature, that's going to be less. So you want to compare apples to apples. What would my savings be per month for the same period of time that I have left? Further, consider if you have 15 years or less on your mortgage, would it make sense for you to take a mortgage of 20 or 30 years at this point or not? Some of that depends on how old you are, what kind of interest rate you can get. So those are some of the factors to consider. If you like this video, if you learned something, please give a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you'll get more information on my other videos. And definitely leave a comment below. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. And I can also use those to either answer you quickly on the bottom, uh, you know, in, in a comment, or use that material to create other videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.